Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk about making text pop in Google Sites. So here's some text I have for a digital breakout about Richard Nixon. And I really want to integrate an image and the Im with this text. And the image I want to use is this one of Nixon campaigning in 1968. Now, say what you want about Richard Milhouse Nixon. This is an iconic photograph. It's a great photograph. It really captures the year 1968 in a lot of ways. So if I copy that image and say, all right, let's use it as a background with that text. So let's do that by clicking the section background and going to image select image, choose by URL and paste and hit select. And so now it's actually adjusting for readability, but once it does that, I want to take, let's preview this. So yeah, technically I think it works, but I feel like it's a bit of a chore to read this text with this background. So let me show you how I would suggest doing it instead. So one, let's change the section background back to regular, or we can make it emphasis two. And in both cases, those pop really nicely because I've set the color under themes to be exactly black, which is a zero, zero, zero hexadeck, which contrasts with white, and that contrasts perfectly. And the reason I know that is because there's a great site, and I'll put it in the bottom, in the, excuse me, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the section description in the bottom of this video, sorry. Uh, it, it's, kind, it's perfect. This is black, this is white, this is using hexadex. It's a 21 to one ratio of contrast and it passes all these tests. If, one, if I throw two colors in here and I have some failures, then I have to you know, check myself and figure some stuff out. Uh, if I preview that now, it looks good, although it's a little bit small and in Google Sites, you really wanna be careful with your text. There's nothing wrong with making it subheading and seeing if that works. And there, I like that. So I'm going to go with subheading because that subheading is not that big. Now, what about the image of Nixon? So let's go back and create another text box in a new section here. And let's use that, uh, that image once again. Now, here, it doesn't look very good, right? But you know what, let me just move it up as a divider. And I think I'm also gonna make this be white with the regular background. Now that doesn't look very good. First of all, we can remove our readability adjustment. And then we can also change it from normal text to title, make that a little bit bigger, hit the enter key a couple times, and then look whose face I'm seeing right there. That's Richard Milhouse Nixon. And if I then click preview, now I have maybe a title, I can, now I have this, and, at, and then I have my text, the text pops, and I'm using the image kind of as like a barrier or a little page break or whatnot, and that works a whole lot nicer. And I can customize that. I can hit more enters or delete a few. However I want to do it, I can play with that. So the key is try to use black and white uh, as your colors. That really works really well because anything goes with black and white, right, and on top of it. And then use your images as little section breaks or dividers rather than with lots of text thrown on top of them. Also keep in mind subheading versus uh, normal text. Sometimes in Google Sites, you wanna go with subheading because it's just a little bit bigger and easier to read. Those are my suggestions for making text pop on Google Sites. Please comment below with yours or if you have any questions or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.